Magandang hapon, good afternoon. Um, we're so excited you're all here. It is my immense pleasure to welcome all of you to today's launch event for I Am a Filipino and This is How We Cook. Maybe tell us a little how, how your paths crossed and then Miguel, how you, how you saw bringing in your own uh, cuisine and your own cultural knowledge and your own culinary knowledge into this, this dream that you and um, uh, Nicole embarked on. Miguel and I met in a restaurant in Soho. It was one of those jobs where I was um, double dutying. And um, I was crying in the banquette mm -hmm. at a table in a corner, doing the ugly Oprah cry. <laughs> and uh, I, literally, I mm -hmm. literally was like, I have a dream mm -hmm. to put Filipino food on the map, to um, help mainstream it. Mm -hmm. And I could not find a Filipino chef. Miguel introduced me to uh, Dominican Republic. And wow, lo and behold, therein lies the matrix. Mm -hmm. And uh, we would have guisado, and you would have... Caldereta. And we would have lechon, and you would have... Lechon. <laughs> <laughs> we learned about euphemisms, things like chocolate meat. So that was mm -hmm. already a... Okay, let's figure that out. Why is that? It's not mm -hmm. just about cooking. It wasn't mm -hmm. even just about opening a restaurant. It was like, we had to figure out the psychology behind it. I went to Chinatown, got some pork blood. They gave me pork cake, or what you call yeah. betamax. Yeah. Right? The, yeah. the pork is going well, the vinegar is in yeah. there, you can smell it, the house smells beautiful. And then we dump the betamax in, and the house smells like the bathroom just blew up. <laughs> And you talked about dinuguan, so that's a stew of pork blood. I think it's such this great example of what you set out to do was to really authenticize and really bring such great pride of what this cuisine represents. That core of innovation, of revolutionizing, of turning everything on its head. Um, how are you looking at Jeepney and Maharlika? All right, Maharlika was the first one, and what we wanted to do was to take traditional dishes and educate people on how to eat them. So you have your kare kare and we pair it with the bagoon and really educate people on what the flavor profiles are. With Jeepney, we wanted to just think outside of the box and create new things. So Jeepney was a platform where we could just mess things up. As long as we use Filipino ingredients, we can create whatever we want and create new dishes like banana ketchup ribs, pancit malabon negra. Maharlika is on 7th Street and Jeepney is on 12th. The 10 years leading up to our opening, really figuring out the psychographics of uh, being Filipino, from my perspective, mm -hmm. um, and the choices that we use as Filipinos, the intent that we are mm -hmm. in existence in the greater sense of our community at that time. Mm -hmm. Already things have changed. Uh, we are planning to launch that in the next year. So you're going to see 99th floor out here. Uh, we had the pleasure of doing a Filipino flower feast on Bong Appetit last season. Oh. Right. So. Um, yeah, you will see things coming out. Oh, actually, he's not saying this, but Miguel is the new host of Bong Appetit. It's a big round of applause right now.